No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Brothers and sisters, I'm just calling you to come back home. I'm, I'm calling you to come back to Jesus tonight. I'm, I'm calling you to come back to the arms of the Father because your soul is at jeopardy. If you die not knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, then God help you. Jesus is that light. And if you walk after that light, you will never stumble ever again. And I assure you this is true. This is a promise that was fulfilled over my life. The reason why people are spitting hate is because they love to justify their sins. Not a lot of people stand for what is right anymore. Not, not a lot of people dare speaking up their, their, their opinions, you know, their, their mindset. People are afraid. They're scared, man. They fear death. I'll tell you why they fear death. I'll tell you why they fear the government. I'll tell you why they fear everything else. It's because they have no fear of God in their hearts. But the Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. When you have fear, you know, for God, as a result, that will cause wisdom inside of you. And then you'll open the good book, the Bible. You'll read it and know that there's a promise for you, for every one of your failures in your life. That there's an answer for every question. Granted that you open that book once so far. Read the Bible, my friends. Read the New, the, the New Testament. Read the Old Testament. Read of who Jesus is. He's the most pure, the most beautiful, the most loving, you know, Savior that anyone can have. He is the leading example for our lives. He is the mark of glory and holiness. And no one equates to Jesus. Not Muhammad, not Buddha, none of these false teachers out there. And in fact, Jesus said that in the last days will arise many false teachers. Deceiving if possible, even the elect. A lot of our Christian brothers and sisters are deceived by these religions, right? They walk away and they fall into this great falling away because of what Jesus, you know, because of what Jesus. The difference between us and you is that we respect your religion. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You didn't need to say that when we were passing by. Bah oui, j'ai le droit. Ok. Le centre de science est là-bas. Est-ce que je peux mettre là-bas? Sur la voie publique, c'est correct? Ok, c'est bon. God bless you. Are you a Christian? No, Muslim. You're a Muslim. You need Jesus, brother. Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, as God incarnate, not as a prophet. Not if you stuck around, if you were, you know, here long enough to listen to the message all along, and if you need prayer, if you want to be set free from your sicknesses and diseases, you know, just let us allow us to pray for you, Amen. Allow, allow us to pray for you because we have a ministry of healing and deliverance. We believe that Jesus is still the same yesterday today and forevermore. He's still prominent with the same power of the Holy Spirit. He still moves and moves mightily in his face. Come to us and let us pray for you here in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you want to give your life to Jesus, if you want to receive the Holy Spirit from above, the same way that Jesus was closed with the Holy Spirit early on in his ministry, come and receive the Holy Spirit of God. All you have to do is confess Jesus with your mouth as your Lord and Savior, but then believe with the depth of your heart that he is Lord and that he rose from the dead. Because confession, as the Bible says, comes forth from the mouth and believing from the heart and you shall be saved you can be saved tonight you don't have to adhere to religion you don't have to follow some sort of belief system where they can you know when they steal your money from you where they demand so much for your do's and the don'ts your actions and rituals all you need to do is believe that jesus is he and if you believe that he is the good shepherd the savior of your life if you're desperate enough to receive him as your lord and savior tonight you can get on your knees even from the comfort of your house and receive the striking power of the holy spirit and then be changed forever and ever I mean it because, you know, people told me about this many years ago. As an ex-Muslim, I can tell you that I, I used to defend Islam and say, listen, Jesus is just a prophet. He's not the son of God. He's this and that, right? But then when Jesus visited my life, when he came into my dreams and visions, it became so clear. And then I opened up the textbook. And when I cracked, you know, opened the New Testament, every prophet... Every, every promise that was there for the blind, you know, the paralytic, uh, 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 the leper, you know, that was me. Jesus was speaking over my life. He was speaking over my heart. He raised me from the, from the grave and I stank real bad like Lazarus when he was in the grave, right? And he gave me life and ever since he's made me a new person. You can nod your head all you want. It does not matter because rhetorically speaking, if Jesus is who he claims that he is, not just a prophet, not just a moral man, not just, you know, a good person or some illumination like Hinduism portrays him, right, among the many multiple other gods, 
right? If you claim that Jesus is God over your life, if you receive him today, God bless you, sir. As your God bless you. As your personal Lord and Savior, then Jesus will come and part himself in you. The Holy Spirit will walk with you in the seal of life, guiding you, showing you the ways of God. He'll put off the lenses of man and give you the lenses of God, and everything will make sense. You'll see the lies and deceptions of the society. You see everything that is going on, especially what went on over the past three years. As we can see that we were lied to, a lot of people know that we were lied to, but they decide to turn a blind eyes because they're way too afraid. They're way too scared that their rights will be taken away from them. But we're here to say that you're a free man or woman in the Lord Jesus Christ. You are created in the image of God. God gives you freedom to decide for yourself. And that is what it means to be in the image of God. It means that God made us self-aware, conscious beings with thoughts that we can reflect in our minds, right? That flow down to our heart. And then consequently act upon these thoughts just like God is able to make decisions. And so that's who you are. You are wonderful. You are fearful in the sight of God. Don't let the enemy steal you know your promises don't let the enemy interject with your blessings don't let the enemy lie to but you but then jesus gives us the answer he goes i am the way the truth and the life you don't have to walk in darkness anymore hallelujah god bless you you don't have to walk in, in darkness and stumble on the rocks you know in the dark wilderness you can receive me as your light yes it, it doesn't matter they'll pick them up later you know you know you can walk after the light the, the light that was prepared before the foundation of the world jesus is that light and if you walk after that light, you will never stumble ever again. And I assure you this is true. This is a promise that was fulfilled over my life. The reason why people are spitting hate is because they love to justify their sins. When you love your sin, you cannot obey God. When you love your sin, you cannot uphold righteousness, right? Because you're upholding unrighteousness. And the Bible says that we better repent because the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven unto all ungodliness. God bless you and unrighteous for, for those that hold the truth in unrighteousness. Hold the truth and righteousness. Open the good book, the old book, the Bible. My friends, it, it is not for nothing that it's, you know, the mo it's, it's, it, it's, it is the book that is, is the most sold out out there. It's because, because people read it, because people, you know, see that there's a truth in it, a deep truth that changes the heart of man. My friends, while we are still sinners, Jesus died on the cross for us, taking upon himself our sins, justifying us by his righteousness. And today is the day of salvation. Redeem time for the days are evil. All around you, you can see that there is just so much profanity and filth and wickedness on the land. You know, we even justify nakedness in our streets in front of our children's eyes. I mean, for God's sake, did you never think that that was wrong? Don't you have a consciousness inside of you? that there is consciousness of, you know, your mistakes, of what is going on. We have hypersexualization all throughout this nation and everywhere around this world where we say it is okay to teach, you know, kids now to masturbate at the age of five years old. Imagine that being your child. Imagine that being, you know, the, the, the apple of your eyes. That's your child. That's your daughter. That's your son. And everybody's okay with it. You know, if you take a stand, if you dare, God forbid taking a stand against any of these things, you know, God help you. Everybody's going to be on your case and on your back. I'll tell you why. Because the falsest, the greatest and, and, and falsest prophet out there is a news outlet in the mainstream media. That's what it is. And they're grooming our children in their ways. And mind you that no one is able to think for themselves anymore. If you thought that you were modeled or, or, or fashioned in your own way, you're wrong. Because everybody's watching the same TV program as everybody's watching the same news outlets everybody's watching the, the same mainstream media and everybody's getting groomed by the lies and deceptions of the society but everybody's on that broadway right everybody's part part of the same flock but you gotta come out of the flock man you gotta come out of the flock and you gotta join the flock of jesus christ you see people tell me you're groomed man you're a religious person what kind of grooming is that man i don't have a thousand you know brainwashed ideas and agendas in my mind what i got is i got the lord jesus christ god bless you sir god bless you god bless you I've got I've got Jesus Christ in my mind. That's all I've got, man. I wake up in the morning. I don't gotta. T I don't have to think about you know uh, uh, being someone else, validating myself through hypersexualization, trying to put a gender type that is not mine. You know, I mean, this is what we see today. Why is it that no one is standing up for you know that craziness? If you go to a medical doctor, how do you know that you know it's a it's a boy or a girl? You ask the medical doctor, you know, what gender is that child? They tell you it's either a boy 
or a girl, female or male. But yeah, we have 58 different gender types. I mean, the insanity to accept that stuff and say, oh, as if there's nothing that is going on. Everything is cool, man, right? It's okay, you gotta conform, because if you don't conform, you're a bigot. You know, it was, you know you're a bigot and you're, you're, you're old fashioned. And friends, this world has gone insane. This world has gone so mad that we parade these things, we promote them openly, and we see no issue with that whatsoever. But everything is okay now. You know, wickedness is okay. You know, bad is called good, and good is called bad now, right? It's the other way around, right? Everything is upside down. It's, it's reverse mode. Brothers and sisters, I'm just calling you to come back home. I'm, I'm calling you to come back to Jesus tonight. I'm calling you to come back to the arms of the Father because your soul is at jeopardy. If you die not knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, then God help you because you are most miserable in that solemn moment. You stand before him and you have the opportunity to stand before the Son of God, the King of the universe, who will say, why should I let you into my kingdom? The promise of the kingdom are for those that have the kingdom inside of their hearts today. It is not a one save, always save. There is a God that is watching over our souls. There is a God that reigns and rules over all the generations of this world. There is a God that sees what we do behind closed doors. There's a God that sees our deceptions and lies, and we can lie to others, right? And we can lie to, to ourselves, but we cannot lie to God because nothing escapes his sight because he knows our innermost secrets and desires. Where will you run away from God? Nowhere. So I'm going to leave you with this message here. God bless you. We have tracks. If you need some tracks, we're handing out some tracks to you. Do you know God? Yeah, I know God. So are you God? Yeah, this is God right here. No, this is not. So this is your God. If this is your God, God bless you, brother. God bless you. If this is your God, then my friend, you are in a miserable state. God bless you.